said both pilots can you fly this plane and land it surely you can't be serious i am serious and don't call me Shirley. okay guys so before i put the solar panels on the roof i want to get it clean it's pretty filthy up there i don't think it's ever been pressure washed or it's been a long time so i've uh towed it down to the what we call the pavilion here at our marina and the marina has a uh, power washer that they let people use that keep their boats here you know sometimes end of season pull your boat out pressure wash the bottom and such so i donated 20 bucks to the the water bill and i'm going to crawl up on that roof and i'm going to get it clean before i start putting those solar panels on so stay tuned <laughs> Okay guys, so I got this this roof pressure washed off. It's in really good shape. Uh, whoever built this boat did a really good job on it and made it last. Um, I'm gonna turn the phone around here and just give you guys an overview, if you can hear me, because um, once I get down from this roof and turn off that pressure washer, I'm not coming up here again. This is, this is a trigger in that heights issue I got, so. <laughs> okay guys, but yeah, the roof looks great. So, on to the solar. All right, guys, well, it took some coaxing, but she came back to life. These carbs are definitely in need of some attention, but really what it needs is just to be run for a while. I mean, that's what happens. These carbureted four-strokes, they just sit and they get gummed up. guys I opened her up probably doing about I don't know nine or ten my guess wavy found her spot I'm definitely gonna add some skirts about halfway up to that first bar there some clear I guess Lexon skirts to deflect the the waves because uh, even though it doesn't well it'll come over the bow eventually but even the spray starts to come up onto the deck uh, pretty easy you know this is these are only like one footers you know definitely a river boat <laughs> okay guys well we're officially out on Lake Superior we're gonna go over in front of my house here on the beach I'm gonna anchor off just to say I've done it. A little milestone. I don't have a depth sounder on this thing yet, so but I know these waters pretty good. Motor seems to be running pretty good. Well there's my beach guys. When I come out and talk to you on the beach, I'm always right there by my chair. <laughs> a little different point of view for you. And it looks like we're in about, I don't know, four or five feet of water, I guess. And it's doing pretty good. And then there's Wavy.
you know what, guys? I think that the shanty, the Beagle Barge, and it used to say in that, is running good enough to find out if it fits under the trussle. Let's find out. Well, holy cow, guys. It's clearing. <laughs> holy cow. Just barely. It fits out of the trussle. I love it. I love it. I just let her drift through and took a chance because I honestly don't think I could have stopped it. So, yeehaw. It fits under the trussle. Well, now it looks like we got the river all to ourselves. This is by far the biggest boat that can fit under the trussle that I know of. Five miles of navigable water, at least, ahead of us right there. Hey guys, I just got this in the mail today. Figured I'd bring it on the boat and let's open it up. I think I know what it is. So sometimes in the evenings I scour the internet for copies of Shanty Boat from Harlan Hubbard. Harlan and Ann Hubbard. I've got a copy of my own and what I'm doing, here I'll go put it on the couch, maybe you can see it better. Where's a good place to look at this? On the steps. So, yeah, what I'm doing is I've got my own copy and this winter when I'm living on the boat here, I'm going to read probably a chapter a week as a special um, stream or video, maybe a live stream, maybe just a, a video. Um, and whenever I find, you know, a good cheap, when I say cheap, you know, like not new price copy, I buy it and then I offer it up here, um, in my videos for somebody and I, and I try to make about 10 bucks on it. Obviously I'm not getting rich. It's basically just a way to kind of donate to the project here. Um, looks like with tax... I paid about seventeen dollars. I'm not not with tax and shipping. So, if I could send you this book for, um, let's just call it twenty five dollars. I I sold the last copy for twenty five. If you want it, I will put a Backwaters Backroads uh, Wavy Gravy postcard inside, which to give you a little bonus, you can use it as a as a. I don't know, what do you call it? <laughs> as a place to mark your page, then um, let me know. First person that wants it, you got it. It's a nice green, I, I like these green copies. Um, mine's not green, mine's beige, but yeah, it looks like it's in like perfect condition too. It looks basically new, so let me know. First person that wants it, 25 bucks, send it to you with a postcard. Seat. I'll take care of this. Oh, no, 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 no. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Doctor, you're one on the phone. 